full race cards and selections for every weekend and every day of major horse racing festivals, are available on our website. The first day of Royal Ascot, and with the weather set fair, a fine week's racing is in store. It's a cracking opening day too, with three group ones on the seven race card. Modern Games can open the meeting with success for champion trainer Charlie Appleby, though has to give weight to the filly in Spiral, who is smart sort and can go well fresh. However, Modern Games was very impressive in the locking last time out, so gets the nudge for the first of the group ones. Highfield Princess is a classy sort, and she can land the King's stand, now dropped to the bare minimum trip. She has plenty of pace next to her in Mannequin, and with three group ones already in the book, John Quinn's speedster has every chance. Francesco Clement renews rivalry with King of Conquest after their clash in a listed race at Goodwood. King of Conquest got upsides of Francesco Clement in that race, but now gets three pound pull, so can reverse those placings. Elsewhere on the card, Bobsleigh makes super each way appeal in the Coventry, and ruling dynasty can land the closer. Tuesday's nap lines up in the St. James's Palace Stakes. 2000 Guineas winner Chaldean is very hard to oppose for this third group one on Royal Ascot's opening day. We put Andrew Balding's Frankel Colt up for that classic, and he didn't disappoint, leaving hot favourite Auguste Rodin trailing at the back of the field. Of course, that rival has since gone on to land the derby, so the form stacks up well. This is Chaldean's moment, and with Frankie de Tori along for company, every chance of another top-class success. Next up, Bring on the Night is our next best, going to post in the Ascot Stakes. Willie Mullins' French import has been aimed at this race after a fine second last year, so has every right to be a warm order favourite to go one better. He proved last year that he can act on good to firm ground, and with last year's winner, Coltrane, Heading for the Gold Cup on Thursday, Bring on the Night can take the race this time around, with Ryan Moore returning to the saddle for unfinished business. The one to beat, and sure to have been tuned to perfection from his master trainer.